Hi guys, Daryl Shergan, Quest for Vape, doing a review video today for the Landmark tank from a company named Keys. Kiss is actually how you pronounce it. K-E-E-S, Kiss is how they pronounce it from Shenzhen, China. This is the tank. I'm going to unbox it. I'm going to show you close-ups, and then I'm going to uh, go up to FaceTime and show you guys how this vapes, discuss it, talk about it. I've had this for a few weeks now. I had an issue with the initial coils that they sent me, and they sent me two replacement coils, and I'll talk about that. And it vapes just fine, and I would recommend it. Look at that. That is a tiger's face or a lion's face. This is their hourglass design. And I'm going to show you some unique features about this that use innovation. There is juice flow control. Juice flow control. Here we go. Hold on. You see that aperture there that, that closes and opens. There's the coil right there. There's the wick inside it. And you can actually twist this to close off access to the coil. So you can actually control juice flow by twisting this ring here. It also has top fill, a nice smiley face over here. This is actually top fill. Here's how. You push this down and then you rotate that smiley face and there it is. That is how you fill it right down into the chamber. And then when you're done, you just rotate it, push down. There's a spring in there somewhere. You push down and the smiley face closes again and that's how you fill it. So those are two innovations. Okay, I don't think they came up with this design. Somebody recently, a friend of mine, DJ, LSB vapes showed me another tank that had that top fill, but uh, I have not seen this juice flow control before. Okay, so that's the tank. This is what it comes with. This is the RBA section right here. Screwed on there, kind of like the new and improved version of the Kanger RBA. It's a vertical. I actually built that. It is a vertical spaced coil. Not too bad. I built that with that. And this is the bottom of the coils. Kind of looks to me like the Joytech coils. All right, it comes with a 0.2 and a 0.5 sub ohm coil. What do we got here? This is the 0.5 BDVC, bottom dual vertical coil. 0.5 ohms, vapes between 15 and 50 watts. I liked it around 40 to 50 watts. It was nice. It's a vertical coil. You see that mesh screen there. Splatter back control. It's in there. I, I used this. Didn't last me very long. I used up. It was the coil. The wire looks fine. It's just the, the cotton got used up pretty quickly in, an, in only a couple of days. Might have been the juice I was using. I might have been vaping it quite a lot. But I do like coils to last me a little bit longer than that. Now, this is the 0.2 coil. Oh, no, this is, look at this. This is an NI200 nickel coil with a 0.2 ohm resistance. Now, I'm not crazy about that because 0.2 ohms is high enough. You can vape that on just about anything. So if you didn't know, do not vape nickel NI200 on anything other than temperature control because most devices will power this at 0.2 ohms. So you've got to know, don't vape that. If you're not in temperature control, it's nickel, and you're not supposed to do that. Okay, enough said on that. And this is between 20 and 70 watts. Same design, same airflow. Um, you got four points of contact for the 510 connection over here. Airflow, it's nice, a lot of airflow. Okay, what comes down below in this tray? Here's your direction. Use a manual. It shows you the different parts. Gives you nice pictures 
Oh yeah, there's a picture of how you fill, how you push down on the drip tip and you rotate, and that's how you top fill the tank. And then it shows you how to rotate that inner aperture, the inner cylinder for juice flow control. All right. This is how you build the, re de the rebuild deck, the rebuild RBA section. I did it. The most difficult part is getting those legs bent down both the right direction. But, you know, I, I built it and it worked pretty good. I had no choice because I ran out of the other coils to use. So they sent me two more, by the way, from China. This whole big, I'll show you when I'm up top. I'll show you this whole big package they sent me just for two little tiny coils. But thank you, KISS. And it comes with a nice precision screwdriver. This is actually a functional, useful tool. Look at that nice little tiny screwdriver Phillips had. You're going to need something that small. And, and an actual decent handle that you can grip. Look at these, this hex shape to this so you can actually get some leverage on that instead of the usual blue screwdrivers that... You can't even get purchased. They're so slick and tiny. So this is actually a useful screwdriver that I can use as a real tool. All right, enough said on that. And this is the spare parts bag. This came with two extra screws, two O-rings, an extra wire mesh screen, which I assume is for use with the RBA section, and then a nice section of spooled up 26 gauge wire stainless steel, I assume. I don't know what it is. But I didn't use that. I just used my regular cantle that I had, and I used 26 gauge. Okay, so that's unboxing. There's nothing else in the box. That's all. Very nice. Very nicely packaged. My only concerns right now are the nickel coil that I put in leaked like a little baby. It cried like a baby. From the second I put it in, it never sealed. It just leaked, and it was a problem, so I had to take that out. The other two coils worked fine. Yeah, this is the one. This is the offending. The bad, bad coil. It's nickel. I don't know if it's an O-ring seat over here, or it just leaked. So, bad coil. <laughs> All right, they did send me the improved coil. So, look, this is not available on the open market right now. As far as I know, you can't, well... Somebody's probably selling these, but it was sent to me for review, and from what I understand, it's not available yet. And they're still open to suggestions and improvements. So when they sent me the improved coil, um, so far they're working good. I'm going to open this up for you and show you. Now, my friend Daniel on DJ LSB Vapes channel had a problem with this leaking. The tank itself was leaking. And the reason why, he said, was this metal ring here was not seated flush. Mine is not actually completely flush. See, it's, it's below the level there. It's above the level there. It wasn't completely flush. And I actually went around just with my fingernail and pushed that in. But his was not seated correctly. He pried it out somehow, and then he reseated it, and then his tank was fine. Here's a look down up the chimney. This is this aperture that you can, this rotates. This is the, see how that rotates? So when the coil is housed inside of there, this is going to rotate and block the juice. This is not unscrewing. All right, one of my complaints about this device is I can't get inside here and take it apart and disassemble it to clean it if I needed to. And if you break that glass, you're shit out of luck because it didn't come with an extra glass sleeve. So hopefully this steel case protects that glass. But if you do break that glass, then you're going to have to buy a new tank, it looks like. Because that's, that's it. It doesn't come out of there. It's not removable without, well, for the normal person that doesn't have tools and doesn't feel like fiddling with this, it's not removable. So that's one thing. No spare glass tank. And no access to the inside. But hey, listen, do I need to get in there? No, I don't really need to get in there. I could just take this apart like that, rinse it out, soak it in vodka overnight like cheap vodka, and then that'll sterilize it. Or I could put it in a uh, subsonic sterilizer. And you know, here's how the coil fits in there. 
this is used, I've been vaping on it. I want to show you, oh, okay, I showed you the juice flow control. It's, it's by turning this clockwise, and then let's get another view of that. Because I haven't seen any other tanks with this type of setup, this deal, where you can actually close off a better view. There you're looking at cotton and now it's closing off. Okay, so and you saw the this is how this is how you fill your top fill. You push this in here and then you turn it and that gives you access right down into the tank. That is dripping down into the tank. Okay, I'll demonstrate. My juice sticky hands. It's going to be a long video. Sorry. This story could have been told probably in five minutes, but Daryl has to spend 20 to 30 minutes. Okay. See how that goes? Filling that up. And I'm not vaping this at tremendously high wattage. I like this around 50 or 60 watts. 60 was good. Above that, it got a little bit, it muted the flavor a little. So I, I kept it around there. All right. And then we just rotate this. Airflow, good airflow. Just, you know, nothing innovative about that. It's got these big, bat, big, fat cyclops slots right there, one on either side, and you have your choice of wide open or not so wide open. Not so wide open, wide open, or halfway in between. It, nev it does not have a setting where you can shut off the airflow completely, but as they mentioned, you shut off the juice flow and then that'll hold service tension in the tank. So that's that. That's the tank. Now I'll come back up and talk about it. Uh, the landmark tank from KISS. I was not going to review this tank because it leaked on me the first time I put a coil in here. And then the other two coils barely got like three or four days out of them and then they burnt up. So I'm going to annotate in the video how long this juice lasts. Now don't get me wrong. I vape a lot. I, I go through 30 to 45 mils of juice a day easy. I drip. And when I'm using a tank, I use it hard. I'm not a gentle vapor. I'm not easy on my equipment. So, you know, three to five days on this, I should have been keeping track how many tanks of juice I went through. I also vape. Here's another thing. I vape high VG, 80, 90 percent VG. Um, whatever I drip, I, I put in my tanks. I don't get 60, 40 or 70, 30 intentionally. I don't get those kind of juice flavors and, and those juices because I drip. And if it if a tank can't handle my high VG juice, then guess what? That's not the tank for me. So, um, you know, a normal vapor who's not as crazy obsessed in vaping as much as me, um, maybe the coils last longer. But these new two coils they sent me are the improved coil. Okay, that's it for now. Let's go back up to FaceTime and talk. I'm back up top now. Going to vape on this. Going to talk more about the Landmark tank from KISS. I like it. Is it reliable? I can't tell you. I haven't been using it long enough. What I can tell you is so far so good. The new improved coils that they sent me are functioning just fine and I don't have a problem with it. The only one I had a problem with was the nickel coil because it leaked and I look I did I did give it a shot. I'm not a huge fan of nickel. And in, I promise I didn't sabotage the nickel coil. I gave it a shot. Actually, live on air on uh, ST Vapes' uh, live YouTube show called The True Vapors. I busted this out a couple of weeks ago on air. And um, so it's a good tank. It's top fill. It's got that juice flow control, which is nice. And that's that's fairly innovative. I haven't seen any other juice com uh, any other tank company with that. I did want to show you something. They do have a sense of humor. Um, 
shortly after I received the tank and they were like, how do you like it? Uh, what are your thoughts on it? Are you going to do a video? And I said, look, I can't do a video on it right now because the nickel coil leaked. And I'm not, I'm not crazy about that. It leaked like not just a little bit. It, it was like raining. Um, and then I told them also after a couple of days, I have no more coils. How can I review this thing? After three, four days, the coils are both used up. I'm on the RBA section. So they said, have no fear, we're sending you the new improved coils. So I get this huge package one day from China. Now, when I get a DHL from China, I get very excited because I don't, what's it going to be? I don't know who it's from. There's always some like ship freight forwarding company from Hong Kong and I, that I don't know. So what is it? Is it an RBA? Is it a mod? It's something cool. And then I get, I open up this big envelope and it's got another little envelope in here and, and it's all sealed up and taped up. So I, I cut that open and I get in here and I take inside there as well. A box and I take this box out and this box is like heavy duty totally taped up sealed and and I'm like oh man I, I had to get scissors and I dug into that and, and I get that open and I, and I pull this out and then there's this all this, this bubble wrap and this is the good bubble wrap not the cheap stuff that's that's the good bubble wrap <laughs> so now I get that open I cut that tape and I unfurl this whole length of bubble wrap and way on the inside, way, 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 way on the inside of that, my two coils. Well, this one I'm using, but it, they sent me that all the way from China, all wrapped up like that. Box with it, a box for the for the grand surprise. Okay, so that's, <laughs> you got me, guys. You had me all excited, and I'm still excited. So let's talk about this tank. So that that's, that's how they got me the two coils so that I could continue to use this product talk about this product and yes now I did a review because I feel that it is worth buying it is worth owning it is not my favorite tank but it's up there it's up there it's in my top five um, look I drip I drip and I vape usually between 70 and 100 watts when I'm dripping sometimes more you guys have seen videos where I vape 260 watts and I enjoy that that's that's intense I I vape with mech mods low sub ohm that's how i roll and if i didn't have to drive i would never use any tank but i use tanks when i drive and i use tanks i'll use a setup like this when i'm around genteel company you know vaping like uh something like this is going to freak people out and if they're not a vapor in there um not used to this stuff and i want to be kind of like halfway normal looking then this is a nice setup this is classy this is the cooper mini it's on it's a temperature control 60 watt mod but I have it in wattage mode at 60 watts. It's a, it's a well-designed tank. And before you see this on the retail market, they will have tweaked, I assume, those little things. But if you buy this and it drips and, and it leaks, then take it right the fuck back to where you bought it from. And But, you know, they're aware of it. So I don't imagine they're going to pump out a product that has those same issues. Um, a couple of they, they've had it in the hands of a bunch of different reviewers and um, you know they've gotten their feedback they've made their tweaks this new coil that they put in here it's great so far 